What's going on YouTube? Nicole Spence. I'm back out here with Finn and Fly Charters. Jamie, Captain Jamie Glasner. And he just came in from catching some awesome mud donkeys. And we actually need to do an oil change. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to do an oil change on this beautiful Yamaha. All right, so there's uh, three latches on this cowling. So we're gonna just pull this out here. There's another one on this side here, just like so. If you wanna zoom in on that. And there's also a third over here, just like so. And we're gonna pull this bad boy off. All right, guys, so I'm not quite tall enough to lift this. So what a, a little trick that I do is I lift the motor. About right there. And then I pulled the cowling off just like so. Now we're ready. All right, now we're ready. Let's do this. All right, now that I got the cowling off, I'm gonna crawl down, back down and uh, put the motor down. Alright guys, so I grabbed a napkin and Jamie's got this awesome tool, the oil pump out bucket that we're going to use and we stick that down inside. And so that goes inside the oil dipstick tube here. So I'm just going to pull the dipstick out and just wipe this oil off. Like so. Now we're and now we're ready for the oil pump. The oil pump. Hey guys, I got this cool oil pump out. Um, basically you just hook a battery up to it. It's got an impeller, pumps out the oil instead of having to take all the stuff off the motor to get to the actual drain plug. Um, so, Nicole, if you can slide that into the dipstick tube okay. all the way down until it stops. And then I'll We're good? Yep, if it's on. And then I'll turn this on. And then that will suck the oil out check on it once it's not pumping any oil out it's obviously it's all sucked out and then we'll change our oil filters and stuff all right guys so as you can kind of hear it, it hasn't pumping out right more. now it hasn't yet oh it's, it hasn't it's, no it's it's, it's wanting to it's kind of take it's kind of being slow right now but come on you gotta prime up see guys so it's starting to you can sort of see where it's pumping the oil through, starting to, slowly. <laughs> Basically, you let this run until you don't see any oil coming out of there without frying your impeller. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Bring <laughs> it into the bucket. All right, so now I'm going to use these channel locks to crack open the oil filter. Yamaha F300 XCA. All right, guys. So we got some new oil and our oil changing oil changing kit. Here's our new oil filter. And what you want to do with the new oil filter is you want to actually stick a little bit of brand new oil, which is right here. You want to stick your finger in it, like so, and just kind of go right around the rim. Is that how you do it? That's how you do it. Just like so. Perfect. All right. All right, so I'm going to stick this back on so I'll tip it over. And then I'm going to stick this, or I'm going to go screw this back on over here.
See how easy that goes on? And you just want to tighten that up real good like. <laughs> I don't know. Lunch break for Nicole. <laughs> and I'm getting harassed by the dog. Yeah. I see some eyeballs on you there, babe. <laughs> She's like looking at her little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, guys, it's done pumping out the oil, so I'm just going to turn it off. Nicole, if you want to grab it out of the dipstick tube, mm -hmm. just grab that napkin so you don't get oil all over you when you pull it out. And we're going to start putting the uh, oil in this thing before it gets too dark out. And then just put the dipstick back in there. Stick it right in that bucket. Perfect. As you can see, it's not that hard to change your own oil. Hope you like it, Brad. So guys, we're just taking off the lids right now so that we can make this video so that it looks <laughs> like we know what we're doing. I think we know what we're doing. I hope I we do. I mean, we know what we're doing, but we're or just... Or else my motor's going to blow up. We're just... Well, let's... Yeah. It's not until we did. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, guys. So now we're going to put the oil in it and it takes 6.7 quarts of oil with the filter. All right, so now we're gonna take off the oil fill cap which is located right here. And you don't wanna lose it. <laughs> so stick it somewhere you don't wanna lose it or you can't lose it, don't lose it. Can't lose it, don't lose don't it. Lose don't it. lose it. <laughs> and we're gonna stick the funnel in there that we're gonna put the oil in. Just like so. There you go. Yep. And then All right. start dumping them in there. Just do and it kind of yeah, slowly. Yeah, like he said, start dumping them in there. Just do it slowly, though, so it don't burp back at you. Yeah, do it slowly. Nice and slow, like. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Okay. Now we're That's one. Here's here. Hand me that one. You can take this one. There you go. There you go. All right. Here's the cap. Just make sure you go slow though, because sometimes it can burn, and then it will pop out and it'll spill around there. So just kind of slowly easy it in. You hear that? Slowly easy it in. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, you, you're good now. You can put it in there. You can put it in there. <laughs> are you mimicking me now? She's got a dirty mind right now. Like what are you that. talking about? You guys are putting words in my mouth. <laughs> I'm just copying what he said. But like he said, we don't want to go too fast because I guess it burps and will overflow here on the bottom. You don't want that to happen. So I'm watching it up here where I can actually see it. And every time it gets a little bit lower, I just put a little bit in. And you just go kind of slow. I'm going to put the cap back on this, and we're going to do another one. This one. Cap. You want cap? Yeah. Let that one drain on out. Oop, there goes the cap. Don't worry, Skipper to the rescue. Skipper's got it. <laughs> Skipper. <coughs> I'm going to show you guys what's going on up here. Just kind of watch it as it goes down. Has it gone down yet? Um, it's going down kind of slow. Alright, here we go. Go. So it's got a low line and a full line. Yeah, add, keep adding. Add more? Yeah. Like how much? Let me, let me see. Let it, let it get in there. Yeah, let me, let me feel how much is in there. Oh, you can go more. Go, go until it's about like right here. Okay. All right, guys, so that cap that I said, make sure you don't lose and take that off. Sorry, we're kind of rushing just a little bit because we're starting to run out of sunlight, but... Better let that drain real quick. He's going to help us get that drained out. Alright. Screw this back on. 
like so. Make sure it's nice and tight. and tight. And tight. And tight. And tight. I guess we're priming the oil. Learn something new every day. I pulled this out and I'm starting, I'm dry starting it. Well, kind of. Ready? Yeah, just kind of crank it over a couple times. Keep going. One more time. That should be good. And then you can turn off the key and then plug that back in there. Basically all that did was this primes the oil through the system, fills up the oil filter, stuff like that. Cool. All right, all right. so now we're gonna stick this back on there. Cool. Actually, we got one more step. Oh, do we? Yep, we're gonna spray it down with some uh, Yama Shield. Yama Shield! <laughs> <laughs> we like it. Let me go grab it. Let me go grab it real quick. Yama Shield! Uh, <laughs> Alright, we're gonna spray down the motor with some Yama Shield. Help prevent corrosion. Wish the sticky little straw in Yeah, here. nobody wants a corroded motor. No. And you just spray it down. Just like that. Just like so? Just like so. Just get it all over, the, everything. The man Put, with the lube, I like it. Yeah. There we go. Spray it all down in there. Oh, it's all pretty. Get all that stuff down there. Get all my connections. And what's it called, Jamie? Yama Shield. <laughs> Stays on corrosion. Do you do a whole bottle of it? No. No. I got a whole bunch of this stuff that we got in. No, I'm just sure they're curious about how much you usually Oh, I just, just spray down a, a light coat over the whole engine that's underneath the cowling app, obviously. And what is it good for? It's good. It's to it's help so prevent you don't corrosion. Because, you know, you get water, you know, you get. And it's salt. Salt, water yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. So I, just I need to put that on my GoPro. <laughs> my just don't GoPros put it. Are so great. Ready, Nikki? Just, Yama shield. Just don't, just don't put it on the uh, the lens. Yeah, you'll never get it off, right? No, it's just you know, it's oil. It's like a lubricant, so it's like, well, it's not lubricant. It's a, it's I don't know. It'd be a film on your lens, and it'd be probably a pain in the butt to try to get off. Probably have to use like rubbing alcohol or something. All right, I think. We're good for the, I'll just put a little light coat on here. All nice. All right, so now we're gonna put the cowling back on. It's gonna trim up the motor for us, make it a little bit easier. There you go. And you can help guide me just in case, make sure I get it going the right way. Yep. Can't really see, this thing is quite heavy. Yep, that's. Teamwork makes the dream work, guys. There we go, touch it down. And then we'll, Latch her down. Snap it in. That's it. Nice. Stay Boom. tuned for the next episode because we're gonna next time we're gonna do the lower unit oil. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button to follow more outdoor adventures with Nicole. Catch you next time.